Projects are the most important aspect about learning code. You can watch any lecture on code. You can do every single tutorial there is in programming and they will still not be as good as doing coding projects. And this is even more important as self-taught developer. But you say, Nizar, I don't know how to code. How can I do projects? Everyone online is telling me that I have to do projects to learn to code, but I don't know how to code. So how am I supposed to do projects? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do coding projects without actually knowing how to code. The first part of that process is to know where you are and to pick accordingly. You're not going to build the next Google if you don't know how to do a for loop. So what I want you to do, this is an actionable step, it's probably something you're not used to. But take out a piece of paper and write down exactly where you are in your programming journey. Do you know JavaScript? Have you done HTML and CSS? Are you just getting started with your first ever uh, coding session? And once you know where you are in your programming journey, set goals accordingly. But for example, right, like let's say you just started JavaScript, do a project that is a beginner level JavaScript project. For example, right, like let's say you started using HTML and CSS, do a very simple landing page with just some, some text and some color background. But the main idea here is to set goals accordingly and, and go based where you are. And the second thing is to get help. Counter to what most people tell you on this platform, I believe that tutorials and videos are your friends. Most people will say like, oh, but Nazar, won't you get tutorial hell? Won't I rely on it too much? Here's the catch. Rather than copying the tutorials and videos that you are watching, after you picked your goals and, and set out on a project you wanna build, look up a video related to that and build along with the person. However, you're gonna change up things in the project so that it's your own thing. So for example, right, like let's say you wanna do a very basic to-do app using a JavaScript function. Rather than just copying exactly what the person is doing in the tutorial, you're gonna go along with the code, but throughout the project, you're gonna change things. So for example, maybe you change the position of the checkbox, maybe you add a functionality button, and you change up the color throughout the project. And that way you're able to build projects while you don't know how to code. In addition, you're customizing it so it's your own project. This two-step hack has helped me go from not being able to code to finally being able to build applications. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.